Oh, good morning. A little after five this morning. 49 degrees. Oh yeah. About 535. Sun's coming up. Mulligan has already gone back to the car. Hardly anybody here so far. So quiet last night, yeah. I don't know if you could pick that up here, but mist is rising off the lake. We got ducks flying along out there. Just got the coffee done. Home sweet home for the next couple nights. Well, one more night anyway. Okay, coffee should be ready. That's a good thing I brought propane last before I came. The tank, the bottle I had in my chuck box was uh, lasted um, through my coffee this morning. Didn't didn't use it last night, so I got my stove set up on the table, but it's killing my back. That's bending over anymore just kills me. So I'm going to try. Putting it out there on the grill, see if it'll fit. That's higher. We'll give it a give it a shot. Okay, breakfast this morning. We're gonna try some uh, steak and eggs scramble. And somebody gave me a loaf of rye bread. Uh, Teresa doesn't like rye bread, so. I thought I'd bring it and steaks left over from a good nice porterhouse we had one night. I threw the chopped the pieces and threw them in the freezer. A couple of eggs, I'm gonna do them all in the square pie iron. Mix the eggs and the steak together, put them in a the pie iron and see what happens. And I'm gonna do the rye toast in the double pie iron. So like I said we got the the stove all set up. It fits. It fits really nicely over there. I'm not thrilled with the propane bottle hanging off, but what the heck? Okay, we'll let you know how it goes. Well, obviously the sun came out from behind the shadows, but see how the eggs turned out. Uh, they've been sitting for a while in the hot pie iron. There's our toast. There's our eggs on the plate. I'm going to enjoy. Well, Molly and I are going to enjoy, so eat your hearts out. All right, we're still at White Horse Lake. It's early to have a fire, but um, people are leaving another campsite that after their firewood, which was really big stuff. Give me five. <clears throat> Five logs, which is uh, not like the stuff that's sold in the campgrounds. I'm just trying to see if it's going to burn. If that thing burns, it's going to burn all night until I put it out. You're supposed to go. Mulligan, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. See my hyper dog? Lanterns have been uh, charged. Mulligan, stop. Taking over another walk today, tonight to get uh, some kindling. See, the tent was surprisingly easy to set up for me. 
And I don't know who came up with the idea of putting uh, the sewing instructions, the setup instructions inside the carry bag. But I love that person, whoever it is. Stay down, Mulligan. Mulligan, stop. Uh, the only problem with staying an extra night is I'm out of ice. There's enough in the, the one cooler. It's cold enough in there. I get nothing that's going to be really bad if it's not really, really cold. Uh, the beer, I'm drinking warm beer. Not the best thing in the world. It's beautiful up here. I'm just hoping that uh, tomorrow morning when I get up at, at sunrise, it's not going to be 38 degrees again. Uh, yeah, when you go camping, at least for me, there's always one thing, uh, Murphy's Law, there's always one thing you forget. And this time is sleeping bags. You know, it's a, uh, and, and got a stupid bug in my hand. Um, <clears throat> sleeping bag, sleeping bag wasn't even on my list because it was so damn obvious. Okay, Mulligan. Talk to everybody. Show them how you jump. You go for a walk? We're going to go for a walk in a second, yeah. Mulligan, calm down, we're going to go. Mulligan's already had his dinners, he's fine. I haven't been camping in over two years. My wife didn't want to come with me, and uh, she wouldn't have enjoyed it. She doesn't like uh, when it's hot. In, in the afternoon, there's no sun here. I mean, there's no shade. Lots of sun, no shade. And as you can see, it hasn't been a cloud all day. It's, it's, this is like uh, four, five, six times I've been up here. And we, we just love it. So I sit here, watch the osprey look for fish, the herons look for fish, people look for fish. I, don't th I haven't talked to anybody who's had any luck at all. Uh, you know, probably a wrap up tomorrow morning, maybe something later about dinner. I, I'm always at dinner, I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to have. <laughs> And the place is pretty empty. There aren't, there aren't many people here at all. Uh, when I came in, there was one one uh, one one site in this loop occupied. <clears throat> they left today, and this guy moved in with his family, and it's been real quiet. So beautiful, beautiful time. All right, that's it for now. Okay, when we were looking for tents after we got rid of our uh, van conversion, we had no idea what size to get uh, for the two of us and our dogs. Dog at the time. Um, walking through Big Five Sporting Goods one day in Prescott Valley, and this model was on uh, on display. It's called a three-person. I believe it's eight by six feet. You know, we got a queen size mattress, air mattress in there, and there's a, but a, a little bit of room on each side. My wife says there's none, but there's a little bit of room on each side. Uh, it says 10 minutes setup on it, but it means if you remember, if you use it more than every once every couple of years and know what you're doing. But all in all, it's pretty good. It's got a mesh pocket on each on each side to put your stuff in. 
and a, a ring in the top I hang my uh, solar lantern from and I mean, that works fine. Alright, uh, panning around here. Picture the butt, butt dog. He wanted, he's having a good time so that's why we stayed an extra night. Okay, another reason to have uh, a morning fire, uh, besides the fact that this morning it was 43 degrees when I got up and yesterday it was 38. Uh, I heat my water on the stove, get it boiling, make my first cup of coffee, then put the water on the, put it over the fire, keep it warm for my second cup, don't have to keep relighting the, the stove. And camping, it's always a good idea to have warm water, hot water around, whenever possible, while washing hands, washing utensils, whatever. Okay, that is... So, uh, the reason we started coming here, and this is maybe my fifth or sixth time, was it's one of the few campsites that I can think of in Arizona where you can actually see the lake from your campsite. Now we're at the closest one in this whole section of uh, Loop D on this side is like that. See where the lake is right there. I sit here on the tables and just watch the the herons walk and the, the osprey fish. They catch more than I do. Um, one drawback to this is it's a handicapped accessible site. So it's all concrete which is great for keeping the dog clean and keeping dirt out of your tent but uh, you can't stake down your canopy and this particular site uh, there's no shade midday for like 10.30 to 2.30 so that's a pain and I got a very rude camera I was talking, it just made a noise, it said goodbye, and shut itself off. Anyway, the uh, thing I like about this grill, it's a newer one here. Most of the other ones have the grates you got to pull up. This one swivels, which is really nice, gets out of your way, and you can still use it as a shelf over there. But a good reason for a morning fire is keep your coffee or your water warm. And uh, I like using the single coffee packet. They're like tea bags, and so you just boil water, put the bag in it, let it sit for as long as you want, depending on how strong you want it. If you're like me and don't drink real strong coffee, you can reuse the bag several times. Uh, you just have to keep keep it in the hot water longer. And the shovel is, I uh, can't remember where I got it, it was real cheap. The blade on it is only about as big as a garden trowel. It's adjustable length, which I don't really care that much about. I think it's on its lowest, lowest uh, adjustment right now. But it's ideal for moving coals around and, and wood and, and fires that are burning. And when you're cooking with a Dutch oven, you got to move coals or add more coals. It, it's just ideal for that. There's Mr. Mulligan out there enjoying himself. First night here, we had here Tuesday afternoon about four o'clock and between then and the time he went to bed after nine he I don't think he sat down for a couple of times for short periods of time uh, I don't think he ever laid down um, Wednesday morning he was fine 